What's up guys, Mike here back with another League of Legends gameplay. Today we're playing some Fiora in the top lane. We're against the new Garen. So let's see how this goes. This is the Garen with the E Shred buff. So now that when he uses his E on you, I think it's after four seconds. Or no, it's like four ticks. That's what I think it is. Four ticks of the E. He'll be able to uh, get a 25% armor shred on you. Which won't really matter too much for me since I'm playing a champion that's not likely to build very much armor. I mean, Fiora doesn't like stack armor or anything. It does. It's a lot better against like tanks and stuff. Because that was kind of the issue Garen had. Like even with like Black Cleaver, he doesn't really do that much damage to tanks. But now he probably shreds them like crazy. So in the early game, we're gonna be really careful because he has Ignite and I have Teleport. So I'm just gonna try and sit back, not do too anything crazy here. We definitely outscale Garen super hard. So, all I have to do is get to, like, you know, the middle of the game or whatever. So, I got his wave pushing into me. Because he's been uh, autoing a little bit more heavily than I have. Gotta be careful here. I don't know if it's worth giving up. As long as I save Q, I'm fine. Because then I can always just Q out. We'll pop that, drop it off in the bush. You gotta be really careful in the early game with uh, Fiora now. Oh, shit. I have to flash Q on this side. Oh, I almost had that last vital puck. That went so good. You gotta be a little careful here. I wanna hit this guy, but this dude's in this bush, so. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna let him heal up. And just play careful right now. I'm gonna stay up by this creep so I can auto it, and then if he runs at me to Q, I can use my Q to get away. Okay. That actually played out pretty decently. I'm not that upset with that. Oh, I can get another auto. I should have E reset. Okay, like that. Still not enough damages. If you didn't know, the way Fiora's Q works is it targets the lowest HP creep. So if there's like two that, it doesn't really matter what one's nearest to you. If it's in range of the circle, it's going to target the lowest one. So like here, I'll, I'll go all the way to this side. This one was closer, but it still targeted the middle one, you know? Damn, that would have been so... A little bit better. I don't know. This is my first game of the day, so mechanically I'm not like at 100% right now. I don't know. I probably could have played that out slightly better. And I think went on the... Because uh, there was like a vital that I was trying to pop on the Garen. It was like on this side of him. And I was trying to get over there, but I couldn't. And it like autoed inside of his hitbox a little bit. And then he flashed away. So I was just like, alright, fuck it. I'll go for the other guy. I popped both those vitals on uh, the Zin extremely quickly. But, again. Got away. <laughs> I'm gonna try and pressure him away from this creep. I don't really think I can stop him though. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention the fervor buff for Fiora. So now with the uh, fervor got buffed just a little bit, so it's even better for her because she builds it up so fast. Because her Q counts as a uh, counts as a melee, so, so well it counts as an on hit. So it procs the uh, it procs the fervor, so you get a stack off of it. Here I'll show you, and then. Also, when you dash, you can immediately auto attack right after. So it's always like a Q auto. And then you can obviously E immediately after that for an additional reset. So right there, you already build up three. Then you get additional attack speed for the next hit. Because it's 50% attack speed for two hits. So basically, you build up your four stacks almost instantly. Just with your uh, dash, auto, E. And then you just auto twice with E. And then your Q's back up and you have full stacks already. And that's when you can like all in and make like big plays and stuff. I'm going to back up a little bit and go get a ward down because I don't want to die. i got to be a little careful here because he has an item advantage on me. If you, I could actually just make a back right now. It wouldn't... Yeah. I kind of like this. I think he's going to slow push anyways. And it, it... Like, if he doesn't, like, cue this... Or, uh, spin on this wave, this would be really good for me. Okay. So, we're just going for our team out here. Okay. Is he spinning? It's also really good to back on a cannon minion wave, because watch what's going to happen under tower. When this wave comes in, it's going to hit the melee minion first, and then it's going to target the cannon minion. So melee minion will take two hits. Boom, boom, dead. Well, three hits. And then it's going to target this. And this can take eight hits in total. In this case, it's only going to take seven, because it was a little bit of HP down. I could have I TP'd back. I probably should have. <laughs> I'm just so used to playing with... Uh, oops. I'm just so used to playing with uh, exhaust on Fiora. But I don't really need exhaust in this matchup. Uh, JK boys. I'm 
Okay, I'll take it. Oh, they, they just hit drag. Um, what do I want to do here? Go like this. He's gonna be like right here. I wanna be a little careful. Oh, I could have stopped that. I could have I could have W'd that. I made a mistake. Damn. The reaction time is not that great right now. <laughs> or my reaction time rather. I mean I'm not gonna stay and wait for you. You got that. There you go, good job. Did I get an assist? Sweet. Nice. I got an assist for that. Okay. Would have been dope if I got the Ezreal kill too, but. Ooh. <laughs> he can't really do anything to me in this position. So I'm able to get all my farm right there. Uh, he's kind of weak right now. Ooh, I really wanted that vital pop. Get off me, minion! I still have like 5% life still because I have the, uh, because I have, uh, obviously this, which gives me 3%, and I'm running the 2% in my masteries, so I still have 5% life steal, so I can still easily life steal back up here. But, I mean, I'm going to be dealing with his sustain. Okay, so as I go to drop this ward, it's important to watch what he's doing, right? In this, in this situation, he just walked away. So I obviously knew that there wasn't a guy waiting for me in the bush. But if I start walking here, and I'm like right here, and he starts making a move toward me, I need to back away, because it's obvious that there's someone in that bush. And I don't want to deal with that. Alright. So we're just going to alternate which one we're hitting. Ooh. Sometimes it's nice to... Uh, what I, what I do is I put it on my T key. I use my T on my keyboard to, uh, like on Lee Sin, I have it as my Q. On GP, I, had it, I have it as my barrel. Whatever the champion's like uh, skill shot type ability is, I always put that on the T key so I can just like smart cast it. I know you can do it like other ways, but. Where did the Garen go though? Did he flash? We went one for one, so I'll take it. I did W the Garen ultimate, which is what I needed to do, but eh, the ignite's a little bit too rough to deal with because I didn't get much healing off of my ultimate, even though I popped all four vitals with it. Makes it pretty hard, but okay. I'm not really that upset with that trade. We went one for one. He blew both of his summoners. I mean, I had to blow one of mine. Zen also flashed too. And it's they're bringing a lot of pressure up on me. And I'm still just going to outscale my opponent. So, okay. I'm not really mad with that. He made like a really weird aggressive play. And he, the thing is, he has bomby cinder. So I immediately just dashed on him under tower. And, uh, yeah. Like, what are you going to do? You're just immediately going to pull tower aggro. And I'm just going to all in you. So, pop vital, pop vital. I don't know. I got kind of screwed up because of the bush. Some weird vision stuff going on there. But, whatever. I just want to shove this in. So you see what I'm doing here with the autos? It's like always auto Q immediately. Oops, I missed that. And when you Q, you want to do it like right underneath you. You don't want to do a long Q like max range because it takes more time, right? Here, I'll show you. Well, <laughs> I don't want to die showing you, so. But even that, that was like a little too far. There could be someone here. I need to walk away. Check this for boat, for a ward. Okay. He's just going to shove it into me. I'm fine with that. Like I said, I just want to farm up, dude. <laughs> There's not, like, not a point where he becomes like unkillable or anything. I, can, I do true damage, so. If he's about to hit me with that, I just press W. So. But yeah, let's show you. See how it's like directly underneath me? So it, there's like almost no movement. So it's like an immediate auto reset. Super quick. So that's what you're trying to do when you fight people. It's like auto queue immediately. And then you get another auto right after. And then you turn on your E to get another immediate reset. They already have all the max fervor stacks. So now I can start being a little bit more aggressive here. Especially with the fervor not falling off very quickly. 
I can just keep tagging him. And build up these fervor stacks before I go in for the play. Like, I have 8 fervor stacks right now. That's a lot of extra AD. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get the vital proc. I'm so bad. Oh my god, I did not mean to auto that creep. I just want to keep being aggro here. I'm fine taking one tower shot. Because I have, uh... Sustain. Oh, I gotta be a little careful. Mid's MIA in like a weird ass wave. There's like a giant wave pushing mid and he's not there. That kind of scares me. I just want to clear and leave. Because I don't have a ward either. Okay, this mid. Feeling a little bit better now. I just want to keep tagging him like this. I feel like someone might be there. Back up! Anytime you miss your Q, you get in a bad spot. Alright, I don't have as much mana left anymore. It's alright. <laughs> it's actually kind of good I didn't pop that vital. Because then after a silence ends, I just Q off the vital and I get the extra movement speed to walk away. But this should be a free dragon for us here since they, again, sent pressure up on me top. And I'm just going to back immediately. Because I don't want to stick around and die. Because they're likely to try and set up some sort of dive here. So I'm just going to back, get full health, and run back up top. I might teleport. I'll probably teleport. Alright. In a pretty decent spot here. Scaling up into the game pretty nicely. Okay. Maxing E second, obviously. Come check this for a ward, and drop mine. And I want to show about this lane right away since we know he backed. And then obviously he has the ignite, so... Alright, got this shoved in. I can even pressure tower. I gotta be somewhat careful because I know their jungler's topside. But my jungler's topside and he's spotting out their jungler right now. Oh no, he's up here, he's up here. Never mind, never mind, never mind. You're good. I was nervous that, uh, ooh, he's in a weird spot. Holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, yo, it's my first game of the day, dude. I have no idea what I'm doing. Holy shit, that was so bad. Might be. First game of day. Slow as fuck. I'm just slow. <laughs> That's all. We'll leave it at that. First game of the day, a little slow. I needed to, uh, like, I W'd like a second late as he was going for the ultimate. And then my W doesn't proc the, well, it'll hit the vital if I land it, but I didn't land it, obviously. Just misplay. I could have killed that Garen much faster. That's really all it was. Just needed to kill that guy ASAP. What you want to try and do is you want to throw down the R, immediately auto the side that you're on, and then Q behind, so you get that vital proc in the back, because that's generally the hardest one to get. And then you then you walk, then you sidestep, right? I mean, it's hard to show, but it's like this, right? I put the R up on him, I hit the first one on this side, I Q behind, right? And then where's he going to go? He's probably going to run this way, right? And then all you have to do is step to the side like this to hit this side one, and then your Q's back up, and you can hit this side. But I did not do it, right? I mean, yeah, the silence throws you off a little bit, but there's like a decent chance this dude's like still here. Okay. I just bully this guy now. Alright. I think I got plenty of lifesteal to deal with this dude. Just start beating him up. Especially now I got a level 11. Okay, and we got this some nice little armor going here. Although his ultimate is still... Well, I mean, I should be using my W on his ultimate. So, it shouldn't really be an issue. I mean, it's a little hard to do, but... It's not impossible. I already did it the first time. I just missed it that second time there. What? That wasn't in range? I think that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> 
I'm not buying that one. I'm trying to find that vital. Walk away from this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I am a little nervous because I don't have a tower here, so I could potentially get dove. So I'm just going to walk back and do a jungle camp. No sense in being too aggro here. Don't want to die for no reason. So this guy's just going to shove in the wave anyway. He's got some fire. So I do this camp. I don't miss a single creep because it'll be six there still since he pushed so fast, right? Let's look. Is there six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So I missed nothing and I came out ahead a jungle creep. And they sent pressure top lane. That's a pretty good combo for us. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go uh, try force this game. I don't really care about Black Cleaver. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna demolish a student top anyways. I always wonder what I want to do here. Sheen is just so nice though. Nice. Does J4 have enough damage? Oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Careful there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I'm here. Uh, JK. I'm going to have the ping lamb going up here. I'm going to drop a ward here so he doesn't steal. I got to be careful. I do have TP, but... Still, I gotta be careful. TP takes a little while to actually get there, so if like Garen joins the fight and I'm not even there yet, we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, he should just look to push that bot lane. That blue's up. Okay, I'm just gonna shove this in and try and take tower here. Even it out. Alright. Oh, it's easy right now. Jesus Christ, it's gonna be so annoying. I can't out push that. <laughs> God, that thing is so annoying, dude. I mean, it gives me endless, endless lifesteal, so I can just take, like, super free trades under his tower and then always just stand there and auto-attack those. But, yeah, it's really annoying. I mean, he still can't do anything to me. Like, that's not really going to be the issue here. I have a good teleport. Oh, you fuck. How did I not pop this vital yet? Hello? <laughs> See what I mean, man? I'm too fast for him. I just move around him, and then I come back here, and I just lifesteal up back to full. And he can't really deal with this. I thought he roamed down farther. That's why I was fine going for that. But he's like up here still. It's kind of blows. I just need to hit him once so his regen stops. God, these things are so annoying, dude. <laughs> these things are so annoying. Like I said, and I can just keep hitting him under tower, taking free tower shots, because I just lifesteal off of this the entire time. It's just annoying. And again, just come back out, lifesteal. Like, it doesn't, the tower doesn't matter anymore. I have too much lifesteal. Ms. MIA. Like I said. Alright. Heal back up to full. <laughs> this is just so annoying because I can't deal with these stupid things. <laughs> Outplayed. 
heal up off of these. There we go. I'm probably just gonna back right now. I don't know if I have enough mana to run my mid. I'm gonna try though. Oh, never mind. This wouldn't be a smart idea even if I had enough mana. I think it's a stupid idea. Yeah. Maybe we can go try this or some shit? I don't know. Just walk away from that one. Be careful. Alright, I'm just gonna buy my item. Can't really do much about this push right now. Drag's not up. Alright, I just wanna go top, clear top, shove top in, try and take tower. I really gotta get that tower down. But it's such a pain in the ass because he bought ZZ Rot. <laughs> so annoying. But it'll be okay. It's not really that big of a deal. Oops. Just gotta shove this in. Boom. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. Just walk under tower and kill it. I should have done that like immediately. It would have been much better than what I did do. Where I just kind of stood there trying to pressure him a little bit. I mean, <laughs> Woo! tower. Good job. No mid lane. I wish there was a TP in here. Yeah, I'm coming down, dog. Please move up. I did not time my W correctly. I think I could have made that play. Kind of sucks just not having ultimate in my bot lane like AFK, but whatever. I mean, I kind of made it obvious that I was coming, right? I pinged like five times, didn't on my way ping. I don't know. Couldn't really make it any more obvious that I was going to gank bot lane. All you had to do was just like walk forward and pressure the guy. So he was there like immediately instead of eight minutes late. We should try and get this tower. Good job. Even out some of the tower gold. Let's get the hell out of here. They're not doing that shit, dog. What do they have for damage? This guy can't do it. Alright. Probably just gonna go into like a GA here. Just so I can start playing a lot more risky. It's been kind of a slow game for us. Okay, drag some 130, Baron's up. All outer towers are down. I don't have teleport. Top's pushing hard. Probably want to clear out top first. What I think is the most important thing to do here, probably. Plus, it kind of looks like he put his... Looks like he put this too far up. Where is it? Yeah. That's a weird spot. Team's gotta be careful. I'm trying to run down. What the fuck? I mistimed it again, dude. How am I this bad right now? My god. I've mistimed my W so many times this game. It's kind of disappointing because, like, the first 
the first one I did was like absolutely perfect. Like the first W I did this game, the only one I used it on was his ultimate. And then like the second one was failed under the tower. That one was shit. Need people help tanking. Job. How much? I need like a little bit more gold. Hold up. It's like 16, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's clear one wave. God, I'm so mad at how I'm playing. Like, it's not that bad. I'm just like making slight me mechanical mistakes. I mean, it is my first game of the day, so. But I'm like 20 something minutes into the game now. I shouldn't be making that mistake. Especially when I just had practice timing it in bot lane. Like, you can't make that same mistake twice. I don't know. I thought it was, and I even play a lot of Karma too, that's why it's like, it's even worse. That should have been a really easy W. That's not something that's difficult to time. It's not like a random, it's not like Jax who can randomly pick when to activate his E. It's like, it goes off at a set time. Let me free! So much damage, dude. So much fucking damage. This champion is so stupid right now. I'm running around with like 60 extra AD, smashing the fuck out of people. My vitals go up like insane. Instead of doing like 7%, the shit's doing like 15. Like, it's nuts, man. Oh, meanwhile, every time I Q, I heal for like a bajillion. Gotcha. I have TP. Can I get this? I'll even let him go get that top farm. Alright, we're gonna be working on... A, well, actually, I'd probably just go BT instead this game. It's probably slightly better. I don't know. You can make the case for... Or you can make the case for Death Stance kind of easily because of this and this. Big burst damage. Actually, they have a lot of burst damage. You could probably make a really good case for Death Stance. Although, if I have like a Black Cleaver shield... Or Black Cleaver. If I have the BT shield up beforehand, it'll be pretty much like the same thing. But... Because we're just getting like... Re reducing the burst damage and turning some of it into overtime. Which is really good on a champion with a ton of lifesteal. Because when you have a ton of life steal, obviously that damage over time, you just heal through it. And instead of, you're only concerned when you're a life steal champion or someone with a ton of life steal. Like, essentially, I'm like a life steal tank at this point. As long as I'm still hitting, we're good. What stops us from hitting? Crowd control. So that's like the, our, our, our only counter. That's why it's really important to use our W correctly. That's why I was a little upset with my play so far. But, I mean, the, I'm, the stuff I'm doing outside of my W is pretty good. But, yeah, my W is definitely could have been slightly better this game. Gotta get back in the swing of things with my girl Fiora. Got it. I should still have this. Oh, that's why I did so much damage. I had the... <laughs> I was like, that seemed like it did a lot more than it should have. Because I have magic resist. And that's how the damage goes off of... It does it does a percentage of your health, but it's it's actual magic damage. Unless you have the villain. And if you're the villain like I am right now, then it's true damage. So that's kind of why that wrecked me. <laughs> Quick, pad the stats! Alright. GG well played. Okay. You know, wasn't the, the smoothest at all times, but I think I played pretty decent, especially for being my first game of the day. Not too bad. I'll take it. A nice 30-minute game. Whew. All right, let's check out the damage meters. Ooh, did I get an S? 
Or is that from somebody else? Wait, what? Hello? No, oh, no. Okay, we're good. Just a new client. Hey, I got an S, dude. I'm the only one on the team that got an S. So don't even hate. I played real well. <laughs> oh, God. I love Fiora. She's just so good right now. The, the new fervor with her. She, she's literally the best user of fervor in the game, and she was the best with it last patch. So when they just buff fervor and make it even make it stack faster, stack longer, give it slightly more AD. Went from 60 to 64. Slightly more AD. But stack faster and stay up longer. That's the important thing. And that's why it's just so ridiculous on, on Fiora. I think she's probably one of the best top laners in the game right now. So make sure you pick up Fiora if you want to win. GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.